Hey guys, Ashley Nelsie here today with a wig review. We'll be reviewing a unit from wowafrican.com. Now, I did do a review for them in the past and I did it on extension. So, if you guys want to see that, I'll leave that video down below. But today, we have a different unit here. This unit was inspired by a Beyonce picture. I did go on the website and it was this picture here. Hopefully you guys can see that. It was like really curly waves, like hopefully you guys can see that. It kind of looked like if you were to take like a really uh, narrow kind of curl it and loop it around, it basically had uh, curls like that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you get the picture. So what I did the first time around is I actually brushed all of the curls out and it was so pretty. Like when I say this hair gets dense, it gets very, very much dense. So that's the way it originally came and what I did is just uh, straighten it. Now I'll just get to the specs of the hair. Now the length on this is 22 inches. I did get the same as what Beyonce had in the picture where it looks like it was kind of like a, I would say like a rusty kind of blonde and just a black because that's a, you know, two colors that she had. I got a cat size, which is like a small to medium because I have a really beanie head, so that's what I got. The cap construction is a cat 4 glueless cap, and the lace color is a light brown. There are little baby hairs around the perimeter of this uh, unit, and um, the hairline is a normal hairline. So this is a lace front wig, so it did come with like lace in it, and I have to tell you guys the name. The name of this unit is the Beyonce Ombre Wavy Indian Remy Hair Lace Wig also CLW33. So that is the name. When I did brush out all the original curls, the hair was like big. Like when I would say it was big, it was big. Like if you have ever seen like, you know, one of those beautiful Indian women when they have their hair all brushed out and it's just a beautiful pattern, it was exactly like that. I kind of wanted to see how it would fare if I did straighten it. And I have to say I'm very much impressed. Now the density on this wig is it's high <laughs> it's a really high density so usually with um you know wigs or any type of extensions from wild african their bundles are thick and their units are really thick as well so it's a very good density you don't have to worry about your hair being too limp or too fine it's an amazing amazing density i absolutely love it the combs and the actual wig itself um like i said it had lace around there and then they had uh, three combs there. There's one here at the top to hold it snug and then there's two on the sides here And then in the back it does have the adjustable, you know, uh, band that does go with it So it's not going anywhere like it's a pretty good unit as far as the parting Um, I didn't really do much with the parting. I just braided my hair well flat twist because y'all know I don't know how to braid <laughs> I flat twisted my hair and for once I'm actually wearing a part in, uh, part in the front because I never do the front parts so, like I did the same You know situation. I always do I always have a little parting with my hair and I decide to flat twist it. Party looks so the party looks really natural. That's something not to say is natural. I didn't have any issues with it, even when I did the other video when it was in its curly state. Um, I did notice a lot of shedding with the wig. Um, I just ran my fingers through and I did see some shedding come down already. Could be due to the fact that I did use heat on the wig. I know the instructions did say that you probably shouldn't straighten the curly units, but you know, I don't follow rules, so I just do. The only time when I did um realize some shedding is when I was actually manipulating the curls, of course. With curly hair when you do tangle it you're gonna get some hair but other than that it's really not bad with my newbie uh with my new me five and one the you know little curlers here and i just gave a little bit of body and you know some curls to unit because it definitely made it look a lot a lot nicer so that's what i did there and i'll show you guys the length so i am 411 so this is how it looks on me the curls stop like right about right there like right there in the back hopefully you guys can see that so it's like probably well actually no i think it's a little past my waist some pieces are a little bit past so so you definitely get like a really long length with this particular unit I do feel like if it's something where maybe you want to wear it with the coming months that are colder, this is definitely a nice look. I did film a get ready tutorial with this particular unit and the face. Like I feel like this particular look was inspired by this hair. So if you're going for like dark lips or you know a really kind of smoky eye, this color goes perfect with the hair. I absolutely love the little pop of color here in the front. I believe that the colored portion, like the blonde portion, is just in the like probably like on the top section because if you had the curls the really really curly dark parts were on the bottom and then the blonde parts were on the top so it's like kind of a two-tone wig and I think 
it goes all the way back. I'm not sure. It might just be just this section on the top where they have the blonde, but you could get away with it. It looks awesome. I absolutely love this wig. And definitely check out wildafrican.com to see what else they have to offer. They have a lot of nice wigs on the actual site. Let me know what you guys think of the color. Do you like it? I feel like I get a little bit of the black that I've grown to love and also a little bit of blonde. So I absolutely love it. I think it's a nice unit. Let me know what you guys think. Um, of course, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.